In Dragon Ball Super Episode 59, Zomas killed Gawas, but Whis reversed back time, allowing Beerus to destroy Zomas before he could do anything to Gawas. Though Beerus said destroying prison Zomas would also annihilate Zomas from the future, Trunks highly doubts that and will go back to the future to check it out. So we have future Trunks probably accompanied by Goku and Vegeta back to the future in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super episode 60 title is Back to the Future Goku Black's Identity Revealed. Then we heard the next episode preview from Goku which was Hey, this is Goku, Trunks, let's go check again to see if the future is at peace now. Don't worry, if the master is there, I'll beat him for sure this time, huh? Goku Black isn't the fake of me? What's that mean? So the next episode title is really interesting. I know we have had similar titles before, but I believe the next episode is truly going to give us some solid information regarding the identity of Goku Black. Whis speculated that Prison Zamasu might have wished for a copy of Goku Black along with immortality for himself. Beerus added that it could have been done using the time ring which would eliminate the one year time limitation of the Super Dragon Ball. However, it's only a theory. A Whis theory. Besides, after having killed Prison Zamas, Beerus and Whis believes it would result in him getting annihilated from all the timelines. But from the Dragon Ball Super Episode 60 trailer, we know that future Zamas and Black is still alive. So it's not like they have a very good understanding of the entire situation either. So the headline for the next episode, which is Goku Black's identity revealed, absolutely deserves our attention. It is going to be an action-packed episode, our heroes return back to the future and we have Vegeta back in action. Who doesn't love to see Vegeta fight, especially all the Vegeta fans want to see him break Goku Black. Last time they fought, Black got better of him as he almost killed him by stabbing with Keyblade. However, many fans have a misconception that in the last encounter, Vegeta was lowballed once again. I have to disagree here. Basically, all three of our heroes get bashed, but Vegeta actually performed better than Goku and Future Trunks. He only got stabbed because he was the first to attack Black. Had it been Goku, the outcome would probably be the same. So it was only logical for Goku to do better once he knew about the blade. Also added the fact that Goku fought Black once before. Anyways, what Vegeta did and the end of Dragon Ball Super episode 57 truly made him the hero among the trio. He went beyond his 100% and saved the day. I think that was the most badass move of that encounter. Whatever, the fans weren't really satisfied and to be honest, neither was Vegeta. So as we see in Dragon Ball Super Episode 60, Vegeta takes on Black. This time, the outcome could be quite different. In all fairness, Vegeta took the highest amount of damage in the last battle. In fact, if left alone, he would probably end up dying. So, since he's returning from a near-death experience, he should get a massive power boost thanks to Saiyan privileges. This could be their opportunity to highlight the Zenkai boost once again. Also, Vegeta has concentrated the most in training this entire time. While Goku was traveling around with gods, trying to figure out shit, we see Vegeta training at his gravity chamber. I don't know about you, but I feel Vegeta is way more emotionally invested in this than Goku. His family was affected more and also there's a thing with Black looking like Goku. You know, it's finally Vegeta's chance to legally kick Kakarot's ass. A Black version of him, but still, you know. As they return to fight Black and Zamas, the real question is what will they do differently this time? Do they even have a solution to the problem? I hope the next episode will progress with this plot smartly. It would be an awful move from Goku and company sport if they go back there without figuring out a valid way to eliminate the threat. 
I hope they won't just play along with Goku's thought process of we will just defeat them this time because they could have to pay a high price for that as Black will get even stronger fighting Goku and others again. Zumas even mentioned that in the episode and was worried who Black would fight to get stronger if they kill Goku. Last time, they couldn't defeat him mainly because Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black is more powerful and his powers keep increasing as he fights. Black basically can absorb opponent's fighting style, so it's only obvious that he is even stronger. On the other hand, the bigger problem is the immortal god Zamas, he is a real pain in the ass. He took a final flash and a sword stab head on from future trunks and didn't really get damage. So what are they going to do now? It's not like getting immensely stronger could kill Zamas or something like that. Episode 62 working title is Future Trunks' Superpower. What is that superpower going to be? Final Immortal Killer Flash? I don't know. I think they should plan things out first with the help of Beerus and Wiz. Then again, Beerus and Wiz believes destroying Prison Zamasu erased him from all timelines, even though Trunks pointed out that's not necessarily how things work. Because when the original timeline androids were destroyed, nothing happened to the future versions. But Beerus mentions that the case is different for gods. When one god destroys another, all this space and time shits don't matter. What Beerus said is correct because he is the god of destruction and also Wiz would correct him if he was wrong about this. Then why is future Zomas still alive? It is probably because of the wish he made using the Super Dragon Balls and complexities created due to the use of the Time Ring. This tells us the speculations of Beerus and Whis about the Black Mystery was mostly wrong. Maybe it is because Future Zomas is immortal or it has something to do with time traveling but Time Ring which didn't affect him. I think in a normal situation, if the god of destruction destroys a being like that, he is annihilated from all of space and time. But it is only because Zamas created an exceptional situation for himself using the Super Dragon Balls, he was able to survive. We don't see Beerus or Whis in the trailer, so most probably they didn't go to the future, believing what they said earlier on. So, it all comes down to what plan they have to take down Zamas and Black. We will have to wait for the coming episodes to find that out, but we do have one more major fact that could possibly change the game in the coming future. The Omni button, that is a button that can be used to instantly summon the god of everything. Currently, it's probably in Goku's possession. So, during the battle, the button could get intentionally or unintentionally pressed by Goku or even worse, it might end up on Black or Zamasa's hand. However, Akira Toriyama did say that the God of Destruction, the Kaioshins, and even Zeno will get involved in a battle surpassing time and space. We already have Kaioshins and Beerus involved, so I believe it's a matter of time before Zeno gets involved directly or indirectly. And since we're getting closer to the outcome with no proper solution in hand, it might happen sooner than it expected. What he will do is hard to explain. He would probably help Goku out, give a trial by combat or things like that. But like Beerus mentioned, all this time distortion could seriously piss him off. And the last time that happened, he destroyed 6 universes. Also in episode 60 preview, Goku narrates, Goku Black isn't the fake of me, what's that mean? Well, I think that probably means that Whis's speculations were wrong. Goku Black is not really a copy of Goku, but some version of him from another timeline or something similar to that. I think this is in a way debunks the Zamas wish for a copy of Goku theory. Guys, next episode, we're finally going to find out if Goku Black is Goten, Broly, Bardock or Gawas. So be hyped! What do you think about all this? Comment your theories and opinion down below. 
For daily Dragon Ball updates and exclusive videos, check out our fan page Dragon Ball Fans. Link attached on the comment and description section.